Hi! Welcome to DB Handmaids. My name is Danielle and today I'm going to be going through my knitting journey as a crocheter so far. I had a neighbor growing up. Her name was Miss Jackie. She decided to teach 12 year old little me to knit. She got a couple pairs of needles. We sat down and she tried to teach me how to knit and I absolutely loved the fact that we got to spend time together in that way. Unfortunately, I did not pick it up, but that was such a precious moment. The other time I tried to learn how to knit was right before the pandemic. I bought myself a little ball of yarn and some knitting needles from Joann's. Watched a YouTube video and it did not click whatsoever, so I put it away and quickly forgot about it until the beginning of the pandemic when we were all under lockdown and I'm like, hey, you know what I could try to do? I guess I could learn how to try to knit again, <laughs> but to no avail. Again, it didn't click and so I'm like, okay, maybe knitting just isn't for me, but I'm not going to get rid of my yarn. What else could I do with my time that is very similar to knitting, but isn't knitting? Because obviously I wasn't getting it. So lo and behold, drum roll please. In comes crochet. Yay! Crochet came into my life during the pandemic, just like a lot of other people. <laughs> so I am very grateful that the internet is what it is and I was able to learn how to crochet through YouTube. I've been crocheting for over four years now and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll try my hand at knitting again. I've learned the anatomy of stitches. I've learned how to fix my mistakes. And this time I found a new YouTuber, Nimble Needles, and he was fantastic. It clicked this time and now it's been three months. So now I'm gonna show you my progress and some of the things that I have knit. The first thing was a really cool scarf. This is made with Joann's Cloud Paca, and I absolutely love how pretty the color is. It is really nice, and it does feel like a cloud. So once I completed a scarf all by myself, I thought, what's another simple thing I can make? And that's a full-blown sweater. <laughs> Let's just jump right into the one of the hardest things to make, shall we? So I made myself a full-blown sweater. Now this is so not perfect, but I was proud of the fact that it fit me. It was an oversized jumper. It was a beginner-friendly pattern in video, and I will link it in the description box below. So in order to keep it interesting, I decided that the third thing I needed to knit was another sweater. <laughs> it is actually the same exact pattern, but I decided to make it into a short sleeve sweater. I made it with Joann's Essential Cotton and that is 100% cotton. It is so soft, which I absolutely love. I am such a texture fiend. I use the color Joshua Tree, and I think I have so many labels on my desk. There we go. <laughs> this is the color River Run. Okay. So that's blue. I absolutely love this blue color because it's just subtly in the striping of this yarn and it just makes it pop even more. I loved designing this top. It was just so cool. I'll show you some pictures and a video of myself and uh, I was living my best life for those moments. <laughs> What easy things should I make as a beginner knitter? <laughs> Comment down below if you both crochet and knit, which one you learned how to do first, which one you gravitate toward more so. What are the things that you prefer to crochet versus knit and vice versa? Can you tell that I'm not a person who wears black all the time? I just like a pop of color, just a little bit. Just a little bit of color. 
I love this thing. It's so much fun. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining me today as I describe my knitting journey as a crocheter so far. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you loved my yarny shenanigans while telling you of my journey, please click the subscribe button and click on the bell for all notifications. And until next time, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and have a wonderful day. Bye!